Uh, my fellow, uh, fellow veterans, good afternoon. I'm trying to figure out if I can. Mom, you know how this works? Okay. <laughs> good afternoon, everyone, and, and welcome to your Guam legislature. Uh, I did put out a five-minute call to a number of my colleagues, and I understand maybe one or two of them may be on their way over. But this notification did go out uh, on a couple of occasions, and um, if they're not able to attend, it's either they are at FESPAC activities, thank you for recognizing that, or, or obviously they're preoccupied. But I want to thank um, a number of individuals in this room. First of all, um, Mr. Salas, who was the initial commander for the 731st MP uh, company. He did bring this to the attention of my office. Uh, I do know that Senator Tom Atta, who's the uh, veterans chair, uh, did plan on coming, so I certainly hope that he joins us momentarily. But you know, when this initial idea was shared uh, with my office and the request was put forward about recognizing the 25th anniversary for our men and women in the 731st. It's, it was a very interesting request because not only was there a desire to be able to recognize and commemorate 25 years when in fact all of you went out into the combat zone in Iraq and, and actually served as a Guam contingent, but the, the uh, 731st was also decommissioned in 1992. 1992. So after a short stint of existence for about two years, three years, um, it was decommissioned. And that, that really uh, highlighted to me, um, you know, an entity, a group of men, and, a, and perhaps there were a few women in that particular contingent, a group of men and women who had served our island and served our country and, and represented us very, very well. So I do have a resolution initially to be able to present to the two commanders. One was the commander, the initial commander of 731st MP Company, and the other individual is the uh, commander, was the commander for the Air, the Army Reserve component who uh, joined the 731st and then you both as contingents, Guard and Reserve, deployed out to uh, the desert. Also, I want to uh, recognize that uh, Brigadier General Leon Guerrero did extend his apologies. Uh, he has to deal with a particular pressing issue right now, so he did contact my uh, office and extended his apologies for not being here because he had already confirmed prior, but then I understand something had come up. So if I can invite uh, Mr. Salas and Mr. Camacho up here. And incidentally, right after the presentation of the resolution, while we do have our individualized certificates for all of you who are here this afternoon, we will be presenting them to you. And then uh, we have requested and we have reached out to a number of individuals to see if by any chance we can get their certificates to them down the road. Um, if, in fact, uh, you do know individuals who were in the 731st or in the 638th that uh, you are able to assist us in contacting them, please, my office would be very appreciative of that. But this is resolution number 355-33 introduced by yours truly, as well as endorsed and supported by all the members of the 33rd Guam Legislature. It's relative to recognizing and commemorating the valiant efforts of the 731st Military Police Company on the 25th anniversary of the Persian Gulf War, also known as Operation Desert Shield Storm and First Gulf War and to further extending a sincere undoklu nasizus masi to the soldiers for their service to our nation and our island community. I'm going to ask all of you to bear with me because it only is appropriate that we recognize every single individual who were a member of the 731st as well as the 638th contingent that consolidated, or 368, I apologize, mixing my numbers around. Sorry, but I stand corrected, the 368. This is a resolution whereas the Persian Gulf War, codenamed Operation Desert Shield Storm for operations leading to the buildup of troops and defense to, of Saudi Arabia, was a war in the Persian Gulf region waged by the United States, which led, which led to coalition forces from 34 nations against Iraq in response to Iraq's invasion and annexation of Kuwait. And on January 3rd, 1991, President George H. W. Bush ordered the 731st Military Police Company to active duty for a period of 180 days. And the company was named 731st, 731, because it was originated on July 31st, 1981, 10, 10 days after the Guam National Guard was officially established. 
The 731st MP Company was organized as a supply and service battalion, and the following are soldiers of the 731st Military Police Company. First Lieutenant Joseph Salas, Commander. First Sergeant Alvin Hale, Jr. Sergeant First Class, Anthony P. Meno. Sar Staff Sergeant Michael Bloss. Staff Sergeant Ricardo Leon Guerrero. Staff Sergeant Joseph W. Longa. Staff Sergeant Jean A. Tennyson. Sergeant Harry A. Aguilo. Sergeant Leo G. Cepeda. Sergeant Ferdinand J. Ibaobao. Sergeant Johnny M. Kenga. Sergeant Ronald S. Titano. Specialist Alfred Assumption. Specialist Vincent Cruz, Jr. Specialist Joseph G. Flores. Specialist Joseph A. Gange. Specialist Joseph I. Mindiola. Specialist Arthur W. Polino. Specialist Alert Salarino I. Samuel. Specialist Richard C. Santos. Specialist Tommy L. Santos. Specialist Lorenzo P. Surigal. Specialist Wokin L. Taguacta. Specialist Tomas A. Tatautau. Specialist Joseph Tutu. Specialist Kodeb Yamada. Specialist Kenneth E. Barnett. Specialist Vicente L. G. Paris. And Private First Class Joseph J. Sablon. And the 731st MP Company were supplemented by soldiers from Guam on January 31st, 1991. A contingent of 33 soldiers volunteered to join the 731st MP Company from the 368th MP Company Army Reserve. Those soldiers are as follows. Captain Robert D. Camacho, Commander. First Lieutenant Carl Keel Cruz, Spe Sergeant First Class David L. Gault, Sergeant First Class Wayne Kilgore, Staff Sergeant Arthur Certeza, Staff Sergeant Roberto Laanen, Staff Sergeant Gilbert Mondia, Staff Sergeant Patrick Rivera, Staff Sergeant Patrick Sanchez, Staff Sergeant Dante Cerne Cerneo, Sergeant Christopher Duenas, Sergeant Rodney Fernandez, Sergeant Donald Flickinger, Sergeant John Iglesias, Sergeant Franklin Igros, Sergeant Carlos Iriarte, Sergeant Ronaldo Manuel, Sergeant Jesse McDaniel, Sergeant James Nangauta, Sergeant Daniel Okada, Sergeant Leroy Polino, Sergeant Paul Paris, Sergeant Juan San Nicolas, Specialist Kenneth Luhan, Specialist Lorenzo Manglotnia, Specialist Roy Manley, Specialist Michael Mian, Specialist Vincent Bautista, Private First Class Ralph Charfras, Private First Class Raymond Charfras, Private First Class Orlando Villalon, and Private Two Franklin Morer and the 731st MP Company departed to Saudi Arabia via Schofield Barracks in Honolulu, Hawaii for processing, regrouping, more supplies, and to further training for combat duties. And while in Honolulu, Hawaii, the 731st MP Company recruited more volunteer soldiers for Saudi Arabia. The additional volunteer soldiers are as follows. First Lieutenant Linda Snyder, Staff Sergeant Interior Lalulu, Sergeant Michael Doman, Sergeant Willie Dunbar, Sergeant Efren Elbrelli Ford, Jr., and Specialist Pamela Brown, and the 731st MP Company departed Hickam Air Force Base to Saudi Arabia on February 3rd, 1991. The unit arrived early the next morning in Dharan, Saudi Arabia, and assigned to the 800 MP Brigade. This was the first time the Reserve Component, National Guard, and Army Reserves ever to be activated as a brigade on a combat zone. They were the only Reserve Component unit from the Pacific sent to the Persian Gulf War. The 731st MP Company processed about 20,000 prisoners during a four-month period. The two separate Reserve Components, Guard and Reserve, worked together in body and spirit to do their job efficiently. They proved their skills, mental fortitude, and may have set military records at that time. And the 731st MP Company was subordinated to the following battalion headquarters, the 301st MP Battalion, the 402nd MP Battalion, the U.S. Army Pacific, and to their respective units. 
And finally, on May 10th, 1991, Mother's Day, the 731st MP Company returned home to their families on the island of Guam. It was decommi decommissioned on March 8, 1992. Now, therefore, be it resolved that in Mina Trentai Tres, Nalis, Turan Guahan, thus hereby, on behalf of the people of Guam, recognize and commemorate the valiant efforts of the 731st Military Police Company on the 25th anniversary of the Persian Gulf War, also known as Operation Desert Shield Storm and the First Gulf War. And thus further extend a sincere and Jesus Masi to the soldiers for their service to our nation and our entire island community. Duly and regularly adopted and certified and signed by the Honorable Speaker and the Legislative Secretary. to the two commanders. Uh, first of all, the commander for the, the guard representing the 731st, Mr. Solace. At that time, you were Lieutenant Solace. I want to present this to you and then also to the commander for the 368th Army Reserve component that joined the 731st MP Company. I want to present this resolution recognizing your tremendous efforts in serving our island and serving our nation and has as has always been told about a Guam contingent. I am sure that all of you came back with tremendous accolades and recognitions in, re in regards to how well you all worked together and how you were able to support the mission that was uh, that applied at that particular time. So on behalf of the members of the 33rd Guam Legislature, on behalf of all the people of Guam, and just as importantly, on behalf of all of our fellow veterans, we want to present this resolution thanking you and all of your members for serving our island and serving our country and commemorating the 25th anniversary of the Persian Gulf War. We also do have, if I can also, uh, we do have individualized certificates. To all of us who are in the military, I know that many of us continued our tour and we did not retire as private first class or as specialists. We retired at a high, higher rank. But we, we are recognizing you by virtue of the rank that you held and you served our island and our nation back in 1991 and 1992. So I'd like to invite the following individuals to come up as your name is called, please. Sergeant Harry Aguilo. And just for the information of everyone, in terms of the content, I apologize, of the certificate of recognition is hereby presented, in this case, uh, Harry Aguilo, 731st MP Company, on the commemoration of the 25th year anniversary of the Persian Gulf War, Operation Desert Shield Storm, and, per and First Gulf War. And to commend and further extend Undokulun Jesus Masi to you for your service and dedication to our nation and our island. Signed by the Honorable Speaker, the Chairperson, the Committee on Rules, the Legislative Secretary, and yours truly. So, Mr. Aguilo, thank you very much for your wonderful service. Staff Sergeant Joseph Longa. Specialist Joseph L. Mindiola. First Lieutenant Joseph H. Salas. Staff Sergeant Jean A. Tennyson. And from the 368th, we have Captain Robert D. Camacho. We have Sergeant Donald R. Flickinger. We have Sergeant Franklin G. Igros. Specialist for Lorenzo R. Manglonia. Lorenzo. Staff Sergeant Gilbert J. Mondia. <laughs> Gilbert, 
possible. Sergeant James C. Nangauta. Sergeant Daniel T. Okada. <laughs> and Sergeant Paul S. N. Perez. <laughs> uh, if I can invite everyone for a group photo, but, but after a few comments from your com respective commander, so if I can ask. Uh, Commander Salas, please. I'd like to thank everyone for coming here, especially the spouses, the families. Uh, we really appreciate it. It's better late than ever, but thank you. Yes, thank you very much, Senator. Thank you very much for uh, giving uh, recognition to our unit, and uh, we're very proud of service and they've done a great job out there in Desert Storm. Uh, if you didn't know that um, we had about 25, we processed about 25,000 prisoners uh, during that time. It was a record for the Army actually and uh, we, were, we were in charge of five uh, prisoner war camps and the hospital uh, there in uh, Saudi Arabia. And when we came back we had about three or four uh, Bronze Star uh, recipients. Yeah, so well, we, we did a, a great job, and I'm very proud of the service of our service members, and they've done a great job, and it's great to see you guys again, and I get kind of goosebumps just thinking about all the great things that uh, you guys, and I'm really proud of everything, and uh, proud of our service there, and you know, it was probably the shortest war in history, because we, we kicked butt there, <laughs> and uh, we, we showed them how, how it's done. But, uh, you know, when I think back at that time, I just think about the camaraderie and the, the unity and, of course, the struggles of going, going there and uh, putting uh, the unit together. And like every unit, we had our challenges, but we overcame them and uh, you know, we performed well. And that's part of any unit. And uh, I just want to say thank you very much again for the wonderful job that you have done. And uh, 25 years is a long time, but I think it's great time to present us a, 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 a great anniversary. Thank you very much. Once again, on behalf of the uh, members of the Guam Legislature, but most especially on behalf of your veteran community and the people of Guam, I'd like to thank everyone here and everyone who, if by any chance, let me put out a, a final outreach. If you know anyone else who was a member of the 731st Company, please, we do have certificates for them and for the, their participation. For, so we ask you to contact our office so that we can appropriately or get these certificates to them. But once again, thank you very much, and Duncan and Susan Mossy, for your tremendous service to our island and our community in 1991. Sir, one thank last you. I want to give you a presentation. This is a, this is a vintage. I think it's going to be a collector's item. Right? <laughs> this is a, what's given to us. Uh, wow. <laughs> All right, thank you. Sir. All right, thank, thank you very, you very much. much again. Thank you, folks. Please, if we can get a, a group photo.